Hey guys, welcome back to Newbie Marketing University. I'm Mike Hartman, and let's continue on with our AWeber basic uh, training. Uh, if you're finding us for the first time somewhere over here, there should be a subscribe box. Uh, please take a second and click it and subscribe to the channel. We have some awesome training here. We add material to it every single day. Uh, we can help you out with all kind of different stuff. And we offer training material uh, for, for the very beginner and also for the very experienced. So uh, we're, we continually add material. I'd love for you to subscribe. That way you get notified every time we put something new up. But what we're talking about right now is our basic understanding of AWeber. Uh, I've kind of shown you already, you know, uh, how to find AWeber on the Internet, what the service is all about, uh, how to create your account, how to do a, a follow-up message, uh, and then in the last video we talked about how to add a predefined campaign uh, to your account when you're when you're brand new so that it can save you some time we then we talked about how you need to go into each one of these emails to edit each email to make sure your link is on there as opposed to somebody else's okay so now this is just really simple I want to show you this um, so let's say you have a list like this of all these emails and you know for whatever reason you want this one number five cheap to be at the top of the list so you know how you change your order really simple just click on it and uh, just scroll it up to the top and it loads boom now all of a sudden cheap is the number one you don't want cheap number one anymore you want it to be three you just kinda move it around you can move these around any way you want to no problem at all now the other thing if you look over here you can see this the first one is always going to be send immediately and then this one is set you see where it says send shortly after the previous message that means these two videos are going to you're going to the person is going to get those two videos the same day as long as uh, as well as uh, if my mouse would move as well as this one right here this one right here it's two days after the previous message so you can set this up any way you want and I'm just going to show you how to do that real quick so you're going to hit edit on any of these and then the um, screens gonna pull up and then down here where it says interval you can if you put zero down that means it's gonna be sent out the same day uh, or you can put one or two or three days whatever you want and and that's how you do it and you hit save and boom you're done so okay so now you've you've kinda done that and um, I wanna show you real quick how to do what's called a broadcast message and and basically what okay let's say you have your list of follow-up messages already set up you're ready to go as soon as somebody clicks on your landing page and you uh, and they join your AWeber account then um, you know they're all set with the predefined messages but let's say you know two days after somebody signs up or on any given day you have a special promotion you want to do so you can do what's called a broadcast message and a, what a broadcast message is basically is it's not going to be uh, saved um, so much in the follow-up messages it's just kind of a one-time shot you're gonna send it out to everybody on your list and you're gonna do it as soon as um, as soon as you're done and as soon as you're ready to go so what I'm gonna do is click uh, the broadcast message link it's gonna go uh, to create a message and I'm just gonna show you this real quick so you have an understanding of how it works and then you know you can play with it on your own time and and send out and be you know be able to send out broadcast messages this is a really cool feature to have because stuff comes up all the time you know hey there's a special hangout tonight or whatever the the promotion is so I'm just gonna kinda make stuff up here and I'm gonna put um, RE and I'm gonna put special uh, webinar tonight oops if I could spell right okay so then I'm gonna come down here and I want to get rid of this box and I'm gonna put uh, uh, let's see I'm gonna put what do I want to put in here a special headline box um, this box won't leave me so not exactly sure why oh there we go okay I'm gonna put a headline in there computer is acting up a little bit and I'll just put something simple special webinar tonight at 8 p.m. 
and you know I'm just making stuff up as we go here for oops have a hard time spelling today okay so I'm gonna get this get rid of this junk in here write something up and say join us tonight at 8 or not or 8 p.m. now obviously I'm just making stuff up here so I'm gonna I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna go to next and here's what I kinda wanna show you so basically what you can do is you can put it to Facebook or Twitter once you set up your account I'm gonna go to next um, I'm gonna set up I'm, I'm not gonna do this because I'm uh, well I'll just do this right here click and, and then I'm gonna schedule for see where it says set a date I'm gonna schedule for later and let's say I want today as I'm doing this it's July 14th let's say I want to set it out for July 15th and then you have your option to pick a time I want to I want to send this thing out at 7 p.m. Uh, set boom it's set right there schedule and queue for that time and then uh, basically what happens is you know at seven o'clock um, everybody on your list is going to get that broadcast message so I'll schedule and queue and and that should take us to uh, another screen where I want to show you something real fast that, that makes things really easy for you um, again you know you can schedule these broadcast messages once a day twice a day whatever you want so here we go you're on your main message screen and it'll say right here scheduled you got one message right here and then you can cancel it you can do what you want um, but then you can you, you know you can kind of remind yourself and see what you got going on um, but it's a great way to get information out so that's what's called a broadcast message so I think I'm gonna uh, quit right here and we'll continue on in the next one